see a different guy now in terms of how he plays or how he acts? Anything? No, I don't think Doug's ever going to change. He's got that kind of cool laid back, laid back vibe. So uh, it's just how he is. We are going to hear from the Steelers starting quarterback for Sunday against the Browns in just a bit. That, of course, is Devlin Hodges, according to Coach Tomlin yesterday. But first, let's take a look at the Steelers practice report. The first day they were out on the fields here at the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex. Not a lot of surprises here. Not practicing today. James Conner, Juju Smith-Schuster and Artie Burns. A new injury of note to pay attention to Alejandro Villanueva was limited today with a shoulder injury. Uh, two things to point out, TJ Watt, who was hurt in the game in Cincinnati, not on this list, so that's a good sign. And Juju Smith-Schuster was just cleared by a independent neurologist, so he is no longer in the concussion protocol, but of course still dealing with that knee injury. So we'll see what that looks like tomorrow when the Steelers return to the field. But you heard Dave DeCastro earlier in the show talking about Devlin Duck Hodges, what he brings to the Steelers offense. Coach made it clear yesterday the job is to not kill the Steelers. He made his first start in L.A. against the Chargers. The team got that win, and today he talked about what he learned from that experience as he prepares for start number two. Um, you know, just a couple things here, about, you know, as far as maybe speed of the game. Uh, just things that kind of come with playing, playing more games and just kind of getting – you know, one of it is just getting the flow of playing like a full game uh, in the NFL. Uh, you know, coach said that, or coach says, you know, it's not really a 60 minute game, it's a three and a half hour game. And, uh, you know, you just gotta, gotta be locked in at, at all times. Going back to Cincinnati, where Devlin came in to take over for Mason Rudolph, the Steelers really got their ground game going. And one of the sparks to that, of course, was rookie running back Benny Snell, who had a career day 98 rushing yards. I had a chance to talk to him this week, but first let's take a listen to offensive coordinator Randy Fichtner about what he saw from the rookie in Cincinnati. You talk about the spark. Now we can talk real spark. Uh, his spark and, and just his run demeanor. Uh, the, the idea of coming back from injury, not blinking, from the first time he stepped on the practice field through the game. Uh, and he ran with strength, he ran with power. Uh, I think he, he'll feel better in, in time. You know, I know that happens with most guys with injury, you know, especially when you get operated on, you're kind of a little hesitant. Uh, I didn't see anything yeah. Yeah. And it was, so it, was, it was fun oh, to have him back. And Betty Snell is the featured this week for my one on one sit down. Here is a preview. The entire piece will be available on Friday. I was on the sidelines and especially towards the end of the game. Coach Tomlin was even going. That's Benny Snell football. That's Benny Snell football. How much does that mean that they know they can count on you, especially to close out a game like that? It, it, it makes me feel good. You know, with, with, with them being able to say that um, they know it gives me motivation. They know it motivates me to, you know, run harder and you know, to just keep the chains moving. So that's, that's what I like to do. All right, again, that f interview with Benny Snell will be available on Steelers.com on Friday. One more note from Randy Feekner today. He was asked about Mason Rudolph and how he is handling not being the starting quarterback this week. He said that he is being positive. He saw that in meetings with the rest of the quarterbacks out on the practice field and said that Mason most likely will still be the last guy to leave the building tonight. That's going to do it for this edition of Steelers Live. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you guys on Friday at 4 p.m.